So you've been talking to a girl the whole time? Excuse me? Oh, so he went to my phone. She's like, why is this girl calling you at 3 o'clock in the morning? I don't know why that lady is calling me at 3 o'clock in the morning. Dude, I'm here with you right now. You're focusing on the wrong thing. So today I decided to take my mom out to dinner because I love that lady and she deserves the world, but I can't afford the world right now. So right now she's going to get dinner and a good conversation <laughs> from me. I love her because like even like when I make mistakes, she still sell me for who I am. And I make a lot of mistakes in my life. I got to love. Like, I love this lady. Even when I decide that I want to have five different boyfriends right now, she be like, okay. I'll just be like, yes, mom, that's that's what I want. I want five different boyfriends right now. And I'm going to tell them all about each other. And they're going to be cool with that. And she just be like, you sure about that? You sure about that, baby girl? They're going to be cool. They all know. And a lot of stuff, my mama just let me learn on my own. But let me tell you something. I don't have boyfriends, uh, guys that I entertain. Maybe. I may entertain somebody, you know, somebody's good son, somebody's grandson, you know. But today, today, I don't know what's to y'all, but two of y'all call me by my government name. I'm just like, what did I do? What did I do to y'all? <laughs> call me by my government name will get you nowhere. Government name, that's like me getting in trouble. Like, don't do that. Don't do that to me. Is it? Don't do that to me. Call me baby, call me babe, call me boo, call me bookie. People only call me by my government name when they know like they won't smoke with me. Cause they know it's gonna make me mad. Cause why are you calling me by my government name? Why are you doing that? What, it, what is so important that you have to call me by my government name right now? And it better be some sick. Well, I don't call me by my government name cause I saw him out. And I did, I did, it was an accident. I didn't mean to. He told me he was gonna come over today. He didn't tell me that the other day. And I forgot. Like, you have to remind me of these things. Like, you think you're going to go the whole, like, two days without talking to me and then just randomly hit me up, call by my government name. I think I'm going to remember that you're supposed to come to my house. No. No. I'm not going to remember. In fact, I'm going <laughs> to live my life. <laughs> so I booked the reservation for me and my mother to go to dinner. <laughs> Sorry, babe. I miss you. My last couple of boyfriends are the reasons why I don't date. Okay, I don't trust, I don't like. Uh, my attention span is like really short right now for guys. I might be interested in you like for a, a couple weeks, not even, and then I'ma lose it. It's like in reality, like I don't, I don't date, I don't date, I don't date. I tell guys before they even like pretend like they want to fix their mouth to say, "Oh, I like you." I tell people like I don't date, I don't take nobody serious. You know what I'm saying? And guys always take that up as a challenge. They think it's a challenge. Oh, I can change her. Woo, this, 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 that, that. And then you get your feelings hurt. Tell y'all about a little flashback. One day, a dude was at my house. I took a nap. And I woke up and realized my phone wasn't where it was supposed to be. Right? Cool. So I'm like, oh, well, it can't be too far. Because I know I got it. I know I got my phone. I roll over my buddy and I see my phone is close to him and I see he got an attitude and I'm like you are you okay are you okay he like yeah gets his stuff and storms out my house uh -uh. what can he be upset about what is going on that boy <laughs> went through my phone and get his feelings hurt. Because in the beginning, I always tell people, don't take me serious. Don't take me serious because you're going to get your feelings hurt. And then what What? What do people do? Take me as a joke. Oh, gee, 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 ah. No, I'm being serious. I'm being serious. If I ever tell you something like that, like, please take me serious. So he storms out my house. And his friend texts me. And I, AG, hey, you bogus. You bogus. You, why would you do him like that? Me? In confused? I'm confused. I'm confused. What do you mean? 
do him like what? Why would I do him like what? You know? He like, so you've been talking to a girl the whole time? Excuse me? Oh, so he went through my phone. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No. Oh, okay. I told your buddy old pal um, not to take me serious. And I don't know what, what made him, what possessed him to get his hand, grab my phone, unlock my phone, because I give everybody my hand first, unlock my phone, and go through it. What, what, what gave you that? That, that that spirit to do that because that wasn't very smart now your feelings hurt now the last thing i want to do is ever like hurt anybody's feelings i never want to hurt anybody's feelings I, you know what i'm saying i know what it feel like to be hurt so no i don't want to hurt anybody's feelings but babe you could have asked i would have told you yes yeah, a girl in my phone i told that boy not to go through my phone and that boy decided to go through my phone. I told him not to go through my phone. I told him not to go through my phone. No, I didn't. I told that boy don't take me serious. I told that boy don't take me serious. And everybody think it's a joke. Think it's a game. It's not a game. I tell guys in the beginning, I ain't shit. I cheat. I'm not going to take you serious. Like, I let guys know, like, unless I really, like, like you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, then my attitude is a little bit different. But if I don't like you on that level, I'm letting you know through the through the door, like, you know what I'm saying? Don't take me serious. Don't get your feelings hurt. You know what I'm saying? Trying to trying to think that you can change me to like you. It's not gonna happen. I had a party at my house and I'm getting ready to go skating. This was for like a skate party or whatever. It was just like the Halloween party. And the little dig that I was talking to had a nighttime job. So she in my room sleep. Meanwhile, like everybody downstairs partying in my house. And I had another little you dig hit my line, like, hey, I'm on my way to your house right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a taxi. I'm like, you are? I'm on your way to my house. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna go skating with you. Oh, are you? Oh, are you gonna go skating with me? That's that's great. <laughs> so now it's, it's it's almost time for little Boogie Boogie to wake up anyway, you know, so she can go ahead, go to work her night shift off. So I woke up I'm like, baby, you gotta go, you gotta go, babe. It's time to go. You have to go. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be late for work, I don't want to be no strikes against you for being late. So she got up, got dressed, left to go to work. As soon as she walked out. My other little did pulled up in the taxi cab. I was like, ooh, that was nothing. Nothing but God. Oh, wow. I was probably going to get beat up that day. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, that night, the girl that pulled up in a taxi, we ended up falling out that night because uh, I think she was holding my phone or something. I'm not too sure why she was holding my phone. Like, maybe I had went to a ladies' room or something like that. She was holding my phone. And... I think the little you did that was at work. Well, no, it was a nut, probably another you did. Because I had a few of them had hit my line about something. Call my phone. <sighs> Meanwhile, you did number two holding my phone. And she like, who is this? I'm like, that's nobody. So she like, why is this person calling your phone at three o'clock in the morning? We we at the skating ring. Skating ring, I think the skating session was like, bro midnight to five o'clock in the morning right cool <laughs> she's like why is this girl calling you at three o'clock in the morning i don't know why that lady is calling me at three o'clock in the morning dude i'm here with you right now you're focusing on the wrong things focus on focus on us focus on this you're focusing on the wrong things <laughs> yo she got her tax in love <laughs> Like, bro, bro, I'll be telling everybody from, from the jump, like, don't take me serious. But when I said that that girl, that other girl that had called me at 3 o'clock in the morning, like, wasn't nothing, that girl wasn't nothing. In fact, I probably, like, treated her or something like that after, like, oh, why would you call me right now? Oh, my God. 
back to my mother and her supporting all my little stupid decisions, okay? I decided to date this one boy. And when I say he messed me up mentally, like mentally, mentally I was like disturbed. If I rock with you, I rock with you hard. And you gonna know that. You gonna you gonna feel that. Like I had this boy like his initials tattooed on like right here. It's covered up now. So you don't know where to see it. He is one of the reasons. Him and then the ex after that are the reasons why uh I had to like I had to learn to love myself. Like it was like I was loving them more than I was loving myself. Wait, like, I would go over his house, find an eyelash. Then he's talking about, oh, that's my sister eyelash. Probably when I was doing laundry, you know what I'm saying? He got stuck to the laundry bag. And my real stupid, goofy self believed it, okay? Like, I don't know. And I, I believe in Tiffany's hat chat. I went out of town and was with the girls or whatever. I came back home and he was pissed. And I thought it was funny. I strongly believe in like anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. So if you cheating on me or you acting wild or something like that, I'm gonna take your leave, babe. Eh? I'm gonna act wilder. What do you mean? He literally taught me how to how to love myself because the stuff that I was doing for that man, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Love is a hell of a thing because when I, while I was dating this boy, his birthday came along. I'm like, okay, it's his birthday. I, I got a diamond watch, right? I went and bought him the matching, like the male version of my diamond watch, okay? And then I got him some Gucci slides, okay? Some Gucci slides. He's like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Me, I'm just like, you know, mm -hmm, you're welcome, babe. Mm -hmm, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome, yeah. When my birthday rolled around, this man got me a bouquet of roses. Oh, you thought I was gonna take something else? But no, that was it. He gave me some roses. And I was like, if that wasn't the biggest slap in my face, I don't know what it is. You mean to tell me I done spent about $1,000 on you. And you went to Jewel in the floral department and got a bouquet of roses and gave it to me. Roses is like a everyday type, you know, thing. Like you, you give me roses anytime. Like so, my birthday year was cute, but it should have been some roses and, like, and like what else? I was like, you know what, boo boo. <laughs> this ain't this this ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna work, and that's okay. This ain't, that's that's okay. Love you though. And he my homie still too, to this day. I love you. Back to my mama. I keep getting sidetracked because I keep doing stupid stuff and my mama really be like supporting me. Anything I do. And that lady really like deserves the world. Only thing she can't get out of me right now is like a grand child. You can have whatever else up out of me. You can have my whole paycheck if you want it. But a grand child? And she see the clutch that I be dating. Mm, get somebody else to do it. But no, shout out to my OG for always being down for my foolishness. If I want to quit my job, she ain't gonna stop me. My mother's a God-fearing woman. I love the fact that she retired. She ain't gotta wake up on nobody else's time. She can wake up whenever she's good and ready. Whenever I'm having a hard time, I go to her and you know, if I ask for the person, she'll pray. She's really a god fearing woman. I love that about her. She always has my back. When I'm learn how to do my hair, that's like my, it just be like the baby hair. Like, what's all that about? Baby hair, baby hair. Okay, so this gonna be my outfit. And I was thinking to throw on these. I really don't like wearing heels, but I got these Tory Burch slides that go like perfectly, like almost like this pink. 
And I think I'm throwing the slides instead of putting on heels. And I'm going to bring my heels with me just in case they try to, like, pull some funny business. I got some heels. I'm really in my baggy pan era. Even though, like, I ain't got no foot and it just go whoop. Whoop. That's okay. Like, I'm okay with that. I'm also going to bring, like, a little sweater with me because uh, I'm anemic. I don't like the cold. I don't want no air to blow up on me. And now I'm freezing. Now I'm a popsicle. I'm going to bring a jacket, too. And they're going to go with this outfit. But I'm not going to show y'all the jacket. Cause shut up. I don't want y'all to judge me. Judge y'all mama. Yeah. And I, I try to, like, I'm no hairstylist, okay? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't do. I don't do hair so I tried to like make it look like like something like I did something to my hair same three accessory pieces that I always wear my little diamond bracelet my diamond watch and my little diamond necklace yeah. again I'm looking for a boyfriend strictly to help me put on my jewelry like not for anything else just to put on my jewelry and help me like zip up my clothes and stuff like that like my dresses like this shirt i had a little a little trouble like zipping it up that's why i want a boyfriend so uh if that's you deal me so come with me so i can tell my mama that i love her this is a mother appreciation dinner i'm your boyfriend i'll tell why i'm out you know what i'm saying uh look at my instagram uh profile sir because uh, i got a butt sometimes but just not in these <laughs> I'm checking my portfolio out on Instagram. What I really look like. Yeah. <laughs> Did I tell y'all we going to the signature room? If I can look down at y'all. We gone, we gone, we gone, we gone, we gone, we gone. Say cheese. An appreciation dinner for me, Montre. I love you. I had to put my eyelash back on because I had took it off. So if it looked crazy, shut up. To the fourth floor. Remember that, y'all. Come back to the fourth floor. Mm -hmm. I'll get back to my car. All right. Going up. I don't know. The center's room on the north face. I don't know. These buttons. Too many buttons. Too much reading. I don't understand what's going on. Say hey, Ma. Ain't she cute, y'all? Look, look at her. Look at her. She The signature room on the 96th floor features lunch and dinner daily. Or she gonna talk to me on my ride up. Private yes, yes. The signature lounge on the 96th floor lets you enjoy cocktails and appetizers with sweeping views of the city. I just, I just swallowed. Jesus! <laughs> I just went like, yeah. Okay, so we can level out. Good Lord. You want to come here? I did. I did. Ooh, and I feel like I put this eyelash back on wrong, but that's okay. Get out my face. So we got to go and buy me some pants because my pants got rips in them. And they have a dress code. And I'm just like, what? It's my fault. It's my fault. It's on me. But we're going to come back. We're going to come right back. We're just going to go find me some little pants real quick. Thank you so much. So we got kicked out of uh, the signature room because my jeans have rips in them and they do. But it's okay. It's okay. You dress coded me. It's cool. You're doing your job. Good job. Good job. What I wasn't going to do is go across the street to Bloomingdale's or to H&M just to get some jeans. Like, <laughs> you're crazy. Um, I was upset because I had got, like, a specialized menu printed for my mom to say, like, you're the best mom ever. Like, as a surprise. And she ain't get that. So I had to just tell her, like, you're the best mom ever. And I love you, girl. Oh, my God. And we went to Joe's Stone Crab on Rush. Top tier restaurant. I love them. I've been going there for years. And they never done me wrong. Because I love y'all. <laughs> Joe's. 
Y'all my dogs for real. I love them. Mommy, I hope you enjoyed. And I'm glad. The service was great. The server, he was bomb.com. He knew the menu back and forth and forth and back and up and down. And he was telling me about stuff that I didn't even care about, but I listened because he knew about it. Yeah. He was on point. He was on point. Yeah. On that note, y'all, I am going to bed. I love y'all. Make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe. Make sure y'all tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend and subscribe. Because what are you doing, baby? I love y'all.